My name is James Studley, here once again at Full Potential Learning Academy. Today's lesson is a little different. We'll be going over dictionaries, what they are, and how to use them. It's important to know how to best use dictionaries effectively in English grammar, so that way we know as many words as we can. In today's lecture, we'll be going over the purpose of dictionaries and how they're organized. We'll be going over how to find words in a dictionary and how to not make mistakes using a dictionary. And finally, we'll be going over some practice to see dictionaries in use and to understand them in greater detail. The dictionary is used to look up words you might be unfamiliar with. If you ever heard a word used in a sentence and you didn't know the meaning of it, the dictionary is a perfect tool to find out what it means. The dictionary is organized by an alphabetical order from A to Z. It's organized by letter to letter as well. So if you have words like abbot and acorn and accumulation, you'll have it in that order as shown below, as well as the image examples we have provided. It's also organized by length, and it's also organized in a way that makes it easy to find uh, words. Keep in mind to always look for definitions when looking up a word in the dictionary. Each word in the dictionary is organized from A to Z, letter to letter, length shorter to a longer length. However, bear in mind that words have their own definitions that can be confusing if you don't know the meaning. If you're unsure how a word sounds, but not how it's spelled, you can make a mistake if you choose the wrong word. For example, uh, below we have some words that can be chosen. Take, key, and heal, and watch out for false traps. They will slash wilt ensure your demise. Now, if you didn't know the meaning of these words, you can make a mistake in choosing the wrong one. For this example, you need to choose the words heed and will. Take heed and watch out for false traps, they will ensure your demise. By choosing the right words, you have the sentence make sense and have the best choices for defining the sentence and having the best saying of the sentence. Here is some practice to help you go over the lecture. Find the meanings of each of these words below. Take a physical dictionary and look through it, or use an online dictionary and search up the meanings of each word. Then write down the definitions of each word. Feel free to take a moment now to pause this video and try out the practice. Good luck! If you haven't paused the video, I would recommend you do so now and try out the practice. We will be moving on in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here are the definitions to the words from before. A rookery can be defined as a colony of birds. Embrew means to stain. It could be something or someone. Capapais means from head to toe at all points as well. And finally, aviators are or is an airplane pilot. Don't worry if you got the wrong definitions or got a definition that was close but slightly different. The purpose of using dictionaries is to find the correct definitions of the words that you need to use. So make sure that you choose the word that is appropriate for the context of the sentence. Dictionaries are useful and have been useful across the globe for centuries. There is no shame in looking up a word that you don't know, and every time you do, you learn a new fact to know. Our next lecture, we will cover double negatives, how to avoid improper use, how to properly use double negatives, and what to do in case of confusing double negatives. Thank you for watching. Teach you next time.